some words of encouragement uh, to you young people. Thank God we had a wonderful service earlier, Pastor Myers. Let's give him a hand. He shared some good words. And basically, uh, you know, all of you young people, you know who I am, Tony Taylor. <laughs> and uh, I do several things. Um, God has blessed me, uh, whereas I'm doing ambassador work. Uh, actually, I'm publicity ambassador, anchor man uh, for We Care for Humanity, which is a nonprofit organization. And I do modeling, I do acting, and as you know, I'm a singer and musician, all that kind of stuff. So basically what I wanted to share with y'all, as young people, I want to share with you that you can make it if you try. You know, we know that the Bible says in Matthew 6, 33, how many of you know what the Bible says in six, Matthew 6, 33? Anybody knows what that scripture says? Say Matthew 6, 33? All right. So it says that, uh, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added, right? So basically, me as a young man, I hope, okay, me as a young man, as I have did that in my life, a lot of you young people may not believe how old I am or you may already know because it was already blotted out. I'm 50 years old. <laughs> yeah, I'm 50 years old and... And I started in the church when I was very young. Uh, well, actually, I was in Pastor Omar at different times. He, he makes comments in with Tony was born in the church. <laughs> but anyway, I had parents that brought me up in the church. And um, so when I was about 14, 15 years old, I, didn't, I wasn't always saved and believed in God. But I, when I got to about 13, 14 years old, then I decided, I said, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this life being a Christian. I'm going to, you know acknowledge God. There's another scripture in the Bible where it talks about in Proverbs 3 that we ought to acknowledge God in all our ways and he will direct our paths. So I'm a witness to encourage you, uh, you being young, as you remember God, uh, Matthew 6.33, seek him first and Proverbs 3, acknowledge him in all your ways, he will direct your paths. Because as I started as a young man, I always wanted to be a musician. I always wanted to sing. I always wanted to act. But I didn't know how about I was going to be doing it. So basically, as I began to seek God first, then God began to connect me with people that helped me to get to where I am. And uh, Elder Ricci, he, he can relate to that too, because he's been in the industry a long time. So I want to encourage you, just remember that. Matthew 6, 33, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things will be added. Proverbs 3, in all your ways, acknowledge God and he will direct your paths. Uh, you may want to be a musician, you may want to be a singer, a songwriter, you might want to be an actor, you might want to be a model, you might want to be a, uh, a lawyer, a doctor, you know, whatever you want to be. As you keep God in the mix, He'll blow your mind because I've been to places that people would never be. I've been to Japan. I've been to Africa. Um, I've traveled. I've been on different parts of, um, of the United States, all across America, different places because of the gift that God gave me. I didn't always know how to play the, key, the, the piano and the keyboard, you know, but as I worked hard as a young man and my cousins and stuff in the family, they had gifts and talents. I would come to the church just like you, and I would see them singing and stuff, and I would sit there, and I'd be like, man, I wish I knew how to play. I knew, I wish I knew how to sing. And so one day, I made up my mind, I'm going to get my own keyboard, and my father helped me to get my first keyboard, and I, you couldn't tell me nothing then. I would come home, I mean, back today, you know, y'all got cell phones, y'all got Playstations, y'all got... Uh, uh, you know, all these games and technology. I didn't have that. You know, you had to 